Good evening. This is a video on modernism controversy. Specifically, I'm talking about today Harry Emerson Fosdick, um, New York pastor, um, Baptist. Um, the reason why I picked Harry Fosdick is because a lot of his views align with my own. Even though at my core I'm a fundamentalist, I did understand his, uh, his argument. Just a little background on Pastor Fosdick. Um, born in the 1800s, uh, he died in 1969, the year after I was born. And um, he was a very erudite man of God, just great preacher. Uh, in those book, it says that besides Dwight L. Moody, who also built a fine institution in my city, Chicago, um, Moody Bible Institute, and Billy Graham, that maybe in the 19th century, no other preacher uh, is as well known and as prolific as Henry Fosdick. Um, the reason why most of us probably never heard of him is because of his alternate view of um, the scientific view or the modernist view. Um, modernist view, of course, uh, according to the textbook and the videos, uh, was that Christianity should conform to um cultural norms, where the fundamentalist view is that um, it should be anti-culture, and then the um, consecrationist view was that it should transcend culture. So the article I picked was from the New York Herald, October 23rd, 1922, where Pastor Fosdick actually preached and uh, it says that he ignores liberalism charges. Very important. Um, understanding that in uh, the book of Hebrews, it says, always be able to give an answer for the hope of your calling. So Pastor Fosdick uh, dealt with that scientific uh, issue. He dealt with uh, a lot of love in his messages. Um, he really, as I read the sermon, Shall the Fundamentalist Win, which he preached, uh, earlier that year in 1922, it really began to resonate with me that he wanted to uh, engage and entrap those uh, and, uh, academic intellectuals, um, teaching believers to think and thinkers to believe. Uh, really, probably the precursor of our apologetics movement now, which I'm a part of, which seeks to teach our young people and our young adults that uh, Christianity is not antiquated in the sense that it does not embrace science. It's just Jesus and God are the God and Savior of science. Um, I think Fosdick went a little bit too far with his um, uh, modernist belief of saying that Jesus was not, the Word of God wasn't the literal Word of God, but it was the expression of the Word of God. Uh, I do believe that his fund fundamentalist views, I mean, his modernist view of trying to conform to culture uh, went directly against Scripture in Romans 12. He said, be not conformed to this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your mind. So he could have did way more good just teaching believers to think critically and to understand what the purpose of being intelligent is, much like W.E.B. Du Bois uh, and the talented tenth that we don't have to leave the culture in order to change it. We can actually be salt and light inside of it. Um, and I believe that Fosdick missed it on that. Um, and I think because of sometimes pride and intelligence, sometimes we do not actually um, get to finish our assignment um, the way we should because of our pride. As I read his fundamental, his, uh, I'm sorry, his modernist argument, it was a lot of um, rationalizations and um, analogies um, pertaining to, you know, the young people in science. Uh, one of the quotes he says, how, how can these, this, uh, the Christian, the fundamentalist Christian engage the young scientific mind? Well, God has been engaged in scientific minds. He does not need Harry Fosdick or me to tell him his mind. So this is a video dealing with the modernism uh, versus fundamentalist controversy, specifically Harry Emerson Fosdick. Great preacher, great message, wrong method.